Hi family, I just want to share something really quickly with you that relates to um, the short uh, video that was posted earlier titled, You Have Leveled Up. Now, um, this is kind of like a, a, a part two to the video. And it's something that the Holy Spirit showed me when I was in bed last night. Um, but it relates to the portion of this video that talks about how an eagle flies higher than normal birds. And as I got into bed, for some reason, this just, and I'm not going to say for some reason, I know it was the Holy Spirit. I'm laying in bed and it just came to me. Why do eagles fly higher than normal birds? So here I am um, searching on Google to see why eagles fly higher. And all of the search results that I read said that instead of flapping, eagles rely on rising air currents to gain altitude. So you're like, okay, Monica, what, what are you trying to say? Okay. I want you to listen to this. This is what the Holy Spirit showed me. When I read that, it just quickened my spirit and I'm like, whoo, Holy Spirit. Okay. I got you. I see, I see where you're going with this. So let me share this with you. So they don't flap. That means they are not relying on themselves and their actions or ability to take them higher, but they rely on air. They rely on air, not their actions, their abilities. They're not flapping, trying to get higher. They're relying on the air to take them higher. And let's talk about the air really quickly. Take a second and hold your hand up to your mouth and blow. What do you feel? You feel breath, you feel air. And the Bible says that God is the breath of life. In Hebrew, that is translated to ruach, the spirit, the breath, the wind, okay? So God is the breath of life. He's the air, he's the wind, he's the spirit. He's the Ruach, the Ruach of God. So let's refer to Genesis 2 and 7. I'm reading from the English Standard Version. Let's refer to uh, Genesis 2 and 7 to hear about this, this air, the, the Ruach, the breath, uh, the breath of God, the breath of life. Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils, the breath of life. And the man became a living creature. He became a living creature because what? God breathed into him. He gave him air, the Ruach of God, the breath of life. Let's jump over to Job 33, 4, English Standard Version. The spirit of God has made me and the breath of of the almighty gives me life. Do you see where I'm going with this thing? The breath of life, air, wind, breath. So last scripture, Ezekiel 37, 10. And this, this, this talks about the valley of dry bones. I want you to go back and read these scriptures. And especially with Ezekiel 37, 10, read the whole chapter of Ezekiel 37. So Ezekiel 37, 10 says, so I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood on their feet an exceedingly great army. Breathed on them and they lived and they stood on their feet. So when God breathes air, when he breathes on us, when we feel, when we rely on the breath of God, we're elevated to the next level. And in you, when you look at all of these scriptures, you'll see that every time God breathed, there was life. And in Ezekiel 37, 10, it says, when he breathed, 
what did they do? Not only did they have life, but they stood to their feet. So that means that they had to stand to their feet. They were lower. They were at a low point where they were either kneeling, they were sitting down. Some point, wherever they were, they were lower than where they were until he breathed on them. And once he breathed on them, they elevated to another level. So the eagle relies on the air to elevate. And just like the eagle relies on the air, we rely on the air, but we rely on the God-breathed air, the Ruach of God, the breath of life, so that we can elevate and go higher. So congratulations on your elevation. I just wanted to share that with you because as the Holy Spirit began to share that with me last night, I, I had to I had to share it with you. It just opened up a whole new uh, meaning to the short video that I shared this morning. So congratulations on your elevation. Revive fam, I love you all.